Hi, welcome to another live game. This is going to be ILTW. We know this guy because of the fact that he's what? He is ranked 48. He's going to be the carry here. A little bit of carry action going on. We saw the last game was going to be 7.27D with the Juggernaut as well. But we're going to, this one, we're going to kind of focus on this guy and his laning. Which is going to be super important. Just to kind of start things off. Especially on this team that has does have an IO. Oracle got that heal, the potential arena. So this is kind of a pretty balanced one. Okay, the Blood Rise is going to be committed. He's going to spin for this. He's going super deep. He does end up getting it. does about half damage to both of them. The roll in, but it does. he had the spin just long enough. He mistimes it. He doesn't actually get a stun, though. So ILTOW running for his life. The Blood Rise is there, and that should be first blood. So not sure if that was really worth it. And it looks like Oracle will die as well. Not a good start. So it, it's funny, because every time I... Uh, cast or i try to focus on that it seems like they have a bad game i think it's and spoiler alert for the past three replays that i've done on the channel it's been straight up i focus on them they end up losing that game so i'm hoping iltw can kind of pull this one away and be a little bit different kind of have this a little bit more competitive here but he's farming he does have an oracle which is a pretty good laner lane partner with the amount of damage they have in the burst but it looks like he's just going to pull the creeps. I mean, yeah, he's taking a little damage, but this is what you need to do. Wait for the creep wave. Get it out of tower range, which is perfect. And he gets some last hits. Okay, I talked about the dire side. The radiant side on the other hand, I mean, Bloodseeker, the offlane. We know that this one's, you know, very meta. Does have play. It can be some very annoying here. The roll in. And they got that as well with the Blood Rite. So he's been silent. So ILTOW taking a lot of damage. Yes, he has a self. He's going to get body blocked here by the Oracle. Just kind of keep him just safe for now. But yeah, he took a decent amount of damage. The Blood Rite is just so massive. Right? That's what she said. Am I right? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. High five? No? No? All right, guys. Um, but, I mean, he's doing a decent job in terms of the farming. Right? 8-0 versus the 5 and zero. He does need to kind of step out of these Blood Rites. And the Blood Rites have been on point so that you place the Blood Rite right when he's about to go for the last hits, right? So then he chooses, what do I do? Do I take damage or do I go for that last hit? You need to kind of figure that out. And so forcing that is going to be kind of the big thing. And especially as a melee. Like, if he steps out of those Blood Rites too many times, especially early when it's really not doing a whole lot of damage, then you can actually win the lame as the Bloodseeker, right? So ILTW knows this. And is actually going for the last hits. Because you need the items. And then, you know what I mean? Like, the Blood Rites don't really hurt you as much. But the kick is going to be committed. As well as the spin. He backs up here. And Oracle really not able to do much. He's trying to harry away the Earth Spirit. But not really too much he can do. Because of the fact that, like, the Blood Seeker can just heal. Right? He's been healing constantly. And this is kind of why he's strong. But, okay. Let me talk about the Radiant side. The Ursa, again. Yeah, he can fight... The Juggernaut, but he does kind of fall off in the end. And especially with an IO Oracle with False Promise and the heals galore, you might have some issues. And so this is kind of like one of those lineups that I look at as kind of... You have a timer on you, right? You do need to be a little bit careful. Earth Spirit can make some plays. Obviously, you have a lot of team fight with... <gasps> excuse me, with the Phoenix there as well. I mean, you have potential saves. And of course, having a good tiny is just ever important like you saw in the last game. But... It comes back to this carry. Can this Ursa really close out the game? Oh, two-man kick there. That does a decent amount of work. And he does get about half life. He does have another salve if he wants to go. And he's kind of... He's doing a good job, right? Especially with that Bloodseeker. Like, I feel like a lot of... Well, I mean, it's been meta for quite some time now. Like, more than a month and a half. Two months now, I would say. So, people have kind of figured out how to play against it. But... Hey, look, he just stands in the blood right, doesn't care. Yeah, I took a little bit of damage, but it's not strong enough yet where he needs to worry. And he's been silenced. It really doesn't matter because he has the potential Oracle to just kind of back him up. So he's kind of playing it well. Like, I think some other carries would be like, oh, crap, blood right. Got to be careful. Got to walk out of this. But it looks like he's going to get the Oracle here. The spin is going to be committed right before the blood right actually connected. And they do get the kill. And that was actually before the Oracle died. So Oracle actually paid off. That was a nice little bait there. And the Bloodseeker solo. Can't really get in, so he does need to be a little bit careful. He's pulling the creep waves back, blood right, hopefully just looking to just get some last hits. Because again, you need the last hits to heal. So there's a lot of things that the Bloodseeker needs to do well in the lane. And if you're looking at ILTW, it's like, I'm good, man. I'm good. I can solo this. Silence or not, I got spin if I, you know, need to go. I don't even need my totem. 
And he even tells his slave, <clears throat> excuse me, the position five, to pick up some items for him. Let's be honest, he's it's his slave. I've played position five before. They just tell me what to do. It sucks. All right, so the delivery is going to be made. The Amazon driver or the delivery guy in training is going to just help give him his items. And he's now got the wand. They get the Ursa, but they trade it for the Io. Actually, Mars Io is a pretty strong lane. But in terms of kills, they are behind. I think Ember's had a little bit of an issue mid. Hang on, let me just see this real quick. Who has died the most? Yeah, Oracle's died twice. Jugs as well, as well as the Io. Okay. Alright. Here comes the Fortune's End's gonna be committed. It's been queued up. I'm just backing it up, but... Again, five minutes, man. Oracle, buddy, you just get the runes. Don't focus so much on the uh, the lane right now, because I think, like, your Jugs is fine. Yeah, it's kind of in a crappy spot for potential ganks. But, yeah. The Earth Spirit's completely gone elsewhere. I mean, it's been five minutes. You probably want him just kind of ganking around. It looks like they're going to put pressure bottom. And again, if you're new to my my stream, my, my YouTube, basically, I like to watch one hero for the first ten minutes. I know that there's action elsewhere, but we're going to make sure that we just kind of focus on ILTW in this case and just see what he's doing well. And we're even checking his camera work. How is he last hitting? Yes, there's all this action going elsewhere. But, he I mean, he's 36 and 14. The denies are just pretty massive. And the Bloodseekers kind of suffered because of this. And this is what you'd want to do as a good carry, right? You just focus on the lane. Don't worry so much about looking to help out the other teams. The TPing elsewhere. Even if you get a kill, it's really not worth losing an entire creep wave for. So you got to be smart. You got to be, you got to be, you know, understand what you're trying to do. At this point, you're just letting the Oracle. Yeah, he's taking some damage from this Bloodseeker. Who does need to be a little careful. You, you need to defend him in the end. But, I mean, he's got the totem here. He's got the salve. He should be fine. Very smart, right? And so this is the thing is that when you're given a situation. Uh, here we go. It's the spin, ILTW. Doing a decent amount of work. But W is going to go. I don't think he's going to fully commit to this. Fortune then is going to be committed again. Just stopping him in his place. And so, I don't know if you've been watching... Okay, hang on. Here we go. Uh, Death Hate taking a lot of damage to the kick. Yeah, he's been silenced. Yeah, this Oracle's going to go down. There's no way he fights. But ILTW, can he get anything in return? Yeah, he does a decent amount of damage. But Oracle's just bad positioning. Getting caught out there. Does need to be a little bit careful, especially with these two. The gank potential is quite high. But they get the Ursa, who is having a really rough time in the bottom lane. He's died, what, twice already? John Travolta? rip okay Gary Kasparov once said when you're well I don't know the exact quote but he said something on the lines of when you're playing a game you know be it chess be it dota whatever it is all you want to do is confuse the guy you want to take him out of his comfort zone okay so you throw more e more equations into uh, the potential field right you just make about you you make things a little uncomfortable like if this guy is free farming he's gonna know exactly what he needs to do iltw that is right so as the blood seeker you need to figure out ways to make things difficult for him where you're constantly making him think of more than just last hits right be it you pull the creep wave you pull it away you you you, know, you pull it behind the tower or whatever but he hasn't done any of this he's literally just stood and fight fought him and as you can see ILTW is well versed in this situation where he does he's not worried about this Bloodseeker. He there's really not much you can do. Madness is getting very low. And yeah, he's ILTW is kind of popping around. Again, we will stop or we will do free cam it at 10 minutes. And uh woo, getting so low, but he's gonna heal. Oracle, you kind of messed that one up. You thought you had the burst, but unfortunately not enough. And uh Oracle's chasing after him, but the rollout, he should be fine. And Oracle, usually you have one chance to go for that explosion, that burst damage. Before your uh, your heels kind of mess up here, and Juggernaut gets it. He's been uh, ruptured. Spin TPs, and that's the way to stop it, right? You needed to ensure that anytime rupture is going to be committed, you need to have that solution, right? What what is the like again? You ruptured the Juggernaut. What is he going to do? He's going to TP spin, and he's fine, right? There's literally nothing that you can do. But if again, if this is one of those things where, hey, Earth Spirit. Let's go together. I'm going to rupture this guy. You go in and then make sure that you stop the TP. Like, you can't solo this. This is the problem with the Bloodseeker. And again, not being coordinated, not communicating with your team. You need to ensure that. This is a giant waste. Now, you know, the Dire here, very powerful position. No rupture. You know it's on cooldown. What do you do? Arena's going to be committed. He dives on out. 
So a little bit of a waste there by the Phoenix. So, you know, all for alt there, but caught the creep wave, put a little pressure bottom, which is perfect. And now it looks like the Ursa has kind of changed lanes as we see them in the top lane. Again, the mini map, super important. Please do pay attention to that. And it looks like they've got three heroes here from the Radiant. Roll off the mark. Level four, ten minutes about. And Ursa gets killed. John Travolta. Man, he's having a hard time. And this Ember Spirit just making short work of this guy. Juggernaut has already got the Morbid Mass. Looking to get Battle Fury next. And it looks like the 10 minutes rupture is going to be used. It's going to be committed here. And the, the egg as well as everything and their mom throw the kitchen sink at them. And we've gotten a kill from the Oracle. Can they get anything else? Mars, I believe, had gotten ruptured and TP'd away. And again, another huge issue. Haste from the Juggernaut. He does have Morbid Mask. He could fight. He does have Omni, but they're looking for the Bloodseeker. Nice. The Blood Right and the Omni Slash is going to be committed. And yeah, they've got the heal from that. Really well done. Really well done. That was really nice. They focused on the one that they wanted. Oh, Ember does need to be a little careful. Hopefully he remnants away. He should be fine. No ability on that guy. Pretty sick. Now, ILTW does have some items. He does have the Morbid Mass, so he's very strong. And he's got the IO Buddy, your Tether Buddy. With his, uh, almost with his mech. And that should be pretty quick. I mean, yeah, the spirits are slowing down his attack speed. It's kind of painful to watch here. But that's only going to be on for so long. And FSD just trying to slow it down. They do have the remnant. They're going to go forward for this. But the Icarus dive right on point. This Phoenix has been pretty good. I mean, you expect this at the ranked immortal level, right? But it looks like they're going to go for this T1. And that's going to be the first tower. Yeah, first tower of the game. I wish, okay, I've been playing a little bit of League of Legends. Don't tell anybody I said that, but basically, I, some of the things that they do are pretty nice, right? They tell you, like, when the first tower's been killed, when, you know, who stole, you know, Baron in this case, or, like, the, you know, uh, you know, Roshan in this case. I mean, yeah, you have it, but it's, like, this tiny thing. It's not, like, the whole godlike triple kill, like, those things. I think there needs to be a better announcement, because it... It adds so much. The fact that you're fighting, and then now you have to look to the bottom left, that just seems silly to me. All right, but just little uh, little things to kind of quality of life for Dota, I feel would be better. But that's just my my opinion on this. The arena's going to be committed. He's going to just Berserker Rage and TP away, and Tiny's like, uh, we going to run? Okay, we're running. Okay, now we're running. And now we're out of that. Ursa, man. He's uh, struggled. He's got phase boots. Wants to get Battle Fury, but if we're just com comparing apples and apples in the core... Oh, defeat yourself. Getting very low. Doesn't mean a little careful. He's probably going to go down. Okay, yeah, we're past 10 minutes. We can solo this. And he somehow survives. The Magnetize will be committed, but it looks like he's going to TP away. He gets out. Oracle will be left behind. He's been silenced. Even the creep getting tossed in. This Oracle goes, is going to go down. Yeah, no false promise or anything. And... He will burn to the sun. And Phoenix gets that kill. Ursa here, John Travolta. I don't even think that's the real John Travolta. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> MOM. He's getting the first pieces of his Battle Fury. He's putting that thing together. Let's look at net worth. Juggernaut, yep. What do we see, right? He had a great lane. He knew exactly what he's doing. He felt very comfortable. He's pushing that through. Very quickly done here. Ember sit, the spirit continue to farm. Still tops. Isn't this crazy? Doesn't feel like this, right? 11 to 8? Like, you'd think that the Dire was winning, but their movements have been better. Yeah, they've been, you know, getting a couple pickoffs or whatever, but this is kind of what you expect with this lineup. The burst and that pickoff, right? So how do you deal with this? You play objective base, you split push. You kind of, uh, or not exactly split push, but you take your, you take what you can. Normally, I would say you death ball and then you just fight it. But in this case, like every time they've been ganking, they've been moving elsewhere. They've taken advantage of the space. They've taken towers. And this is kind of why you have a slight edge in terms of the net worth. It really doesn't feel like it, I know. But like top three here and then the bottom two are, you know, on the dire. And that's kind of why you have this. The rupture is going to be committed. They do have Ember, who does have our spirit. He spears back one time. And yeah, they're not going to commit for this. Wait for rupture. He's ruptured three or four times, gotten zero kills out of these ruptures. Right? 3, 2, 4. Yeah, he's gotten some kills elsewhere, but he has not been able to do this. And again, this is why you don't really... You tilt out. You lost. You gave up first blood. You lost the first two kills. And the game is not over, right? The laning phase did not happen. Continue to fight. Flame Guard. 
push them back a little bit. And there we go. They're, yeah, the creeps are a little low, so Bloodseeker will happily take those and farm that up. Tiny's been spotted out. Does not have Blink yet. The Remnant. Ooh, they want him. They're looking for him. Oh, he doesn't actually see him. He gets the slight, but no chains. Buddy, madness. Slow fingers, huh? Huh? All right, here we go. So Juggernaut continue to push. The MOM is going to be committed on this just to kind of help push it even faster. Earth Spirit has the urn. Is going to go Vessel next. I think you need that. You need to mitigate a lot of this damage in terms of the healing, excuse me. So that makes sense to me. All right. Ooh, John Travolta with a kill. A solo. That's the first one. But, it, yeah, he's uh, feeling in, in his loins, his spider sense. I'm assuming that's where it is. But it looks like he's going to be a little bit careful. He thought he was going to get counter ganked. But no follow-up on that one. So, again, Ursa he hasn't been able to do much. Doesn't really even have the Morbid Mask. Can't even solo Roche at this stage. Oh, the Remnants. It gets a little low. And there, Tiny blinks forward. He does have... No, but he it doesn't actually click onto him. And he just throws a tree in rage. But it was actually on cooldown. So, unfortunately, not able to catch the Madness Ember Spirit here. He's going to look to just TP. The roll is going to be a little off the mark. They found a version. They got the Blood Ray and the Sun Ray. And he gets Tethers out of that. The Magnetize has been committed. They do have our... Uh, sorry, excuse me. The Mars around. And they're going to just kind of be Magnetized buddies. Magnus is back in the fight. Or Madness, excuse me. And it looks like they're going to focus on this T1, which is getting low. John Travolta, they'll give it to him. They're grouping up, and they're looking to fight this one. Juggernaut, ILTW is on the bottom. And what do you do with all this space? Right? Realizes that really, I mean, yeah, we'll give up this T1, but we'll trade the T2 for that. So that's not a bad trade there. And, I mean, that opens things up in terms of the outpost. That opens things up in terms of just overall space that Juggernaut can continue to farm for. I mean, I know I put the... Uh, the weight and the priority on the mid T1s, but not the worst. Sometimes you're going to do this. Okay, John Travolta is going ham. He's looking for immersion. Do they have him? But the spear is there in John Travolta. Yeah, you've been ranged up and you're taking very little damage, but the bulwark is there as well. And they do end up killing John Travolta, who is by himself. Mate, you need your buddies. You need your buddies. All right, so Bloodseeker here. Does avail. We know that. We has the Ags as well. <clears throat> 3k net worth lead. Alright, Phoenix here. Just trying to click through items. Just has uh, Tranquils. Does need to be a little bit careful. Madness, they get the chains on FSD. Just a couple right clicks. They're trying to bait it out. Try to get something going. He Icarus dives away. Now the blink in. And there's a spear is off the mark. Defeat yourself, sir. Defeat yourself. Because that was bad. That was really bad. Sorry, the joke was bad too. But your play was worse. Boom. Shots fired. Actually, he doesn't have any in Bulwark. Excuse me. Oh, the Roland. Magnetize. And the Sun Ray. Yeah, Tiny's died, but we don't care about Tiny. We care about Mars here, who's going to just kind of get rid of that. And the Sun is going to be used. But can the, the Roland is going to miss. And they do get the Phoenix. And W looks to be in a bad spot. Guys, Rubik is going to push him back a little bit. False Promise is going to be used as well. But John Travolta is now here. They got the Rupture. And they do have him. And he's looking to TP away. Does he get out? He does. And they've got a three for nothing. Here comes Io with that nice little tether action. He's bringing ILTW to the party. And it looks like, uh, oh, they do have the chains. And they're going to focus on. And he gets bursted there by that Oracle. Just doing a lot of work. And ILTW is, where is he? He just gets tethered on back. Relocated. What was he doing? He remembers as he has short-term memories. I feel like this is the guy. Anytime you're with an Io, you're like the memento guy. Right? You're like short-term memory. You're like, what was I doing? I don't even know. Where, what, where am I? Am I the killer? Anyways, that's a great movie. Looks like they're going to push. They get the top T2. Just a really nice fight, though. Right? The fact that it was going in. Criticizing Immortal, man. That's why we're here. All right, here we go. Hi, Gear Chronology ends. I have a mouthful of a name. And it looks like... Uh... Yeah, they're going to look to just kind of take this T1 here. <laughs> Yo, we can cr criticize anybody, man. In case you don't know. Even the pros. Pros make mistakes. Oracle gets blown up here. That Why did he get blown up? Bad positioning, right? So it doesn't matter what rank you are. People, like, if you play perfect Dota, you would... I mean, obviously, you'd be you scaling, but it's almost impossible. There's almost a billion things you can do in a single game. And that's why Dota is amazing, is the fact that, like, 
all you have to do is make mistake free Dota. And if you're looking at it in terms of the pros versus, you know, the pubs and all, you know, the heralds and the crusaders, everybody below, is that it's, it's a mistake based game. Right? If you make less mistakes, you will win more. And it's finding those mistakes is to shore those things up. So even immortals will make it. So. Yeah, anyways. Um, Bloodseeker here. Hasn't really done much, right? They haven't been able to find their ganks. And you're, you're seeing a big contrast from this game and the last game. Is that... The Bloodseeker was making moves. The rupture is going to be used. But Madness is like, alright, you want to fight? <laughs> the, the relocate comes and he brought his best friends. I felt like the bat symbol was was used. And they came a-calling. And they make quick work of that. Especially with the Omni Slash. And they're going to steal your stack. So, you know, they're going to take everything. They will take, you know, your mom away, everything. But they want, eh, I don't know how to say his name. I mean, he's going to run. He's going to toss. To, and the arena is going to be used. And the God's Rebuke, he's got nowhere to go. Clumsy Net, he's like, giving up on life. They walk out of that Coliseum with the thumbs up or thumbs down for the tiny, depending on what side you're on. They've got the tether on the Oracle, keeping him alive. The Phoenix is still around. Just, uh, he does have, a, okay. So finally, Ursa does have a Battle Fury. But doesn't have a more mass, no real way to heal, no, you know, I mean, this is a hero that wants to be scaling early, right? Having a good lane and making sure that he can just close out games. He hasn't had that space and he's died a lot. I mean, it seems like four deaths doesn't seem like a lot, but I mean, it's the most on the team, right? They've been focusing on this guy, making sure that John Travolta doesn't get going. Because, you know, when John Travolta gets going and he starts dancing, you're going to have a bad time. Okay, I've seen John Travolta dance in many a movies and I never had a good time. Boom. Shots fired. So Madness here continue to farm. They've got full control of this jungle. The map map control, space, everything. And uh, yeah, they've even got the outpost. And here we go. The S and Y on this jugs. And here we go. John Travolta again. Not really much you can do. He's going to just walk away. A little bit lag. It's been chained. All right, here we go. Oh, the arena, they do get the blink in and the spear as well. Defeat yourself with a nice play. Makes up for the mishap that he did against the Phoenix earlier. Gets that kill. Makes sure that John Travolta, again, anytime you focus this guy, this carry, the team, like, they, if, this is your win condition, right? And if you keep killing the win condition, the team is going to tilt, and they're pretty much going to AFK it. Oh, they haven't yet. They haven't completely given up here, but they really can't fight. Oh, okay. Yeah, they've given up. They got three shadow amulets, and that's going to be game. They're going to stick around right in mid. I think it'd be hilarious if somebody uh, picked up a sentry. But this is ranked immortal. This is what you need to do, right? If you want to pre preserve that KDA, you buy shadow amulets, you stick together, and you stay by the T1. And yeah, wow, look at this IO out there stealing mangoes. I don't know if we should call the police or not, but again, they're just going to focus on this. There's really no way of dealing with the mid T1, especially since that T1 is uh, still alive mid. But... Yeah, it looks like they're just going to go focus and just continue to push. This is actually hilarious. I don't think I've ever seen this, but this is why it will. This this will, this will, tactic will keep them alive, but their base, unfortunately, will not be alive, realizing they don't really have much of a chance. And again, Immortals, kind of they kind of give up early. Have we seen this? Like, like they just snowball. I, this is so close. Like 15, 16. But the thing is, like the 16k net worth lead is like, oh, where did we go wrong? And I mean, you're looking at it. They're just sticking to objectives, and uh, it's the lane, right? ILTW. This is why you're so good. Uh, the arena. Yeah. Got nowhere to go. John Travolta is going to berserk a rage. He's just trying to keep himself alive. But no, he's got nowhere to go. He can't even get out of the arena. Can't get to his fountain. PKB is going to be committed. And the disrespect. They're searching for him. The buyback from Ursa. An arena, uh, sorry, the Ancient goes down, 23 minutes, very quick game, and kind of what we expected, right? So, again, just to kind of recap, ILTW, what did he do well, right? He sucked to the lane, he put his head down, and was like, I'm just going to consistently farm. You gave up first blood, that was his only death, right? He was like, mm, I'll shrug that one off, doesn't really matter, I'll continue to play the lane, right? It doesn't matter that the other team, you know, the other lanes were dying, and if we're looking at the graphs too, right? Just the player net worth and all that. Hang on. this guy, I think this is the biggest teller right here. The first 10 minutes, pretty neck and neck, right? Yeah, there were some spikes a little bit. But like all you need to do as your, you know, jugs, if you want to play well, is just farm. Put your head down. 
Where's the space? Where's all the action happening? Get away from it if you need to. Fight when you need to as well. Join fights and just consistently farm. Right? This game is just about getting items. Right? If you get items, this is how you will win. Okay? Yeah, it's nice to have the Mars and the uh, the Ember that were making some decent plays throughout. But at the end of the day, you can't rely on your teammates. Right? If you're going to stick to anything and if there's any sort of, you know, hopefully some feedback that you can take back from with you today is just... You got to stick, you know, if you're a core, play core, understand when you need to farm versus when you need to fight. And if we see ILTW was just like, there's some bad fights going elsewhere. I don't need to TP into that. I just need to farm. I need to win this way just by powering through and making sure that I'm the highest net worth, right? What is this? Like these three, these three heroes equal effectively your net worth, right? This is why you win. And this is what you'll do. So ILTW will continue to win and he'll continue to rise up in the ranks. And this is why these other guys will suffer because of that. Anyways, if you like what I do, please give a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on YouTube. I stream, uh, or I'm going to try to stream on Twitch more regularly. Unfortunately, I haven't been doing a good job of that. So apologies for that. But I will catch you guys next time. Thank you so much. My name is Holler, and you can find me at Holler TV. And until next time.